All right. And all chats are running. Oh, started a little bit late. I was hoping for a 15 minute break, but it turned into a 30 minute one. But all right, listen, play. Today we're playing Fur Fighters for the PlayStation 2. The full, oh, let's load it up. Let's hop over through the demo. So this game was released on the Dreamcast, the PlayStation 2, and on the PC. There it is. Fur Fighters, Vigo's Revenge. There isn't, this isn't a sequel. It's called Vigo's Revenge for some reason. But yeah, this is, uh, this was a game released for the, as I mentioned, Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and PC. Released back in the year 2000. So... Yeah, near the end of the... Sadly, near the end of the Dreamcast. Because the Dreamcast didn't do too well, but also close to the beginning of the PlayStation 2, since the PlayStation 2 was released... There it is. Yeah, it's pretty much near the beginning of the PlayStation 2. But the main thing to point out is uh, this is an awesome game. It's an interesting game, I should say. Let's go ahead and play. So it's also kind of a weird game. It's not the weirdest out there. Uh, uh, maybe... Yeah, we don't need the restart. Let's just go ahead and load up the save we already have. So the idea of this game is you play as a team of fighter they're called the fur fighters there we go there you, are. you see i'm playing as one right now rufus so pretty much this is a platform shooter i'm calling it a platform shooter it might have an actual name for it right here. this game i had twin tower they had twin towers level and made it very uncomfortable oh you're right you're right we just saw a cinematic for this Hey, Mr. Smith, how's it going? Oh, I used to love playing this game on the Dreamcast. I think for a short while, I, uh, my brother and I, we would play. We played both the PlayStation 2 and Dreamcast versions side by side to try and see what differences they had. Oh, I just noticed the audio is a bit loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, this game was... Oh. Uh, oh, that's a bad guy. There we go. But yeah, actually, I wanted to comment. They... This game, originally, the controls were very interesting. Oh, we should probably hop down. Oh. Enemies are coming up. Okay, we gotta get rid of them. There we go. Oh, anyone else? Yep, someone right there. There we go. But yeah, this, uh, back when this game was released, they, uh, the control, oh, I found him. All right. Oh, sounds a little bit still loud. Let's turn it down a little bit more. There we go. But yeah, uh, back when they released this game, they didn't have the controls down correctly. So they had the right analog stick mapped to movement and the left analog stick mapped to uh, uh, moving the camera, which for most people nowadays is the exact opposite of how you should have it. So thankfully, there was a fan out there who modified the controls. So now they gave they made it more modern. So now I can use the left analog stick to move and the right analog to look around. Granted, the game still has a little bit of some weird stuff. For instance, it still snaps back to the plane that you're looking at. So there. But besides that, the new uh, the up. The hack for the controls works great. Oh, maybe, uh, let's see here. Can I... I think I can hop over there. Should try. It sounds like there's... 
uh, a baby around. Oh, there is a baby. Oh, oh yeah. That, that peacock has a bazooka. I better get out of the way. Alright, let's go back and get him. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I need to hold the button. I need to hold the button. Okay, let's restart that. Alright, let's go get ya! Alright. Oh! Why does it sound like there's a... Uh... Another baby around here. There we go. Of course you have to jump on the button. Oh yeah. Oh, this audio still a bit loud. Ah, I remember playing this game for... I, I believe I actually beat this game. I had so much fun playing it, though when you look back at it, the mechanics, some of the mechanics are a bit dated. For instance, oh, there it is. For instance, uh, they took Donkey, they took the mechanics from Donkey Kong, where you have six playable characters, and then they all have different babies you have to collect. And they can't collect each other's babies, so you have to play the mix and match game. Alright, oh. Oh, yeah. Hold on, let me up. Let me up. And up. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, and another thing that they did. Oh. Uh, okay, can't get up there. Oh yeah, another thing that they ended up doing was that they... Oh, there we go. Oh, I need to find a coin. Alright, let's go looking. Oh, maybe you'll give me a coin. All right, let's try. All right, let's try again. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, don't reset me. Ah, oh, it keeps resetting everything. And there. Getting close, getting close. Alright. I will figure this out. Alright. Maybe right there. Oh. Right here. There. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna set fire to you. Alright. Oh, that sounds like I got one. All right, I, I should be one. All right, that's two. Oh, a cheat's discovered. All right, one more. There we go. All right, that's exactly what we need. Now we can continue. Oh yeah, this game, uh... You kind of love the motif of this game. You're pretty much playing as a stuffed animal. Oh. Oh, we should probably get out of our machine gun. Yeah, you're play pretty much playing as stuffed animals, which are shooting each other. Hey, check out that cartoony violence.
All right, let's see here. General Vigo. Oh. Ah. Should be... There you are. All right, let's play. Let's get Rufus and go down into the tunnels. All right, come on, train. Come on, train. There it is. And there. Okay. Moving quite quickly, so... There we go. One down. All right, two down. Oh, come on, let me up. Let me up. All right. Okay. Come on, let me up. I know. Ah, I missed it. That was so close. That was so close to the end. All right, let's try that again. Oh, I made it on the front. All right, that's good. Come on, let me up, let me up, let me up. Look, jump, jump, jump. No, nope, jump, come on. There, oh yeah. Ha, huh, okay. Let's try one more time. We have 11 babies to set the rescue. Oh. There we go, there's one down. There's two down. Oh. I, I fell. Oh. Oh, that... Okay, that happened. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna forget about that for now. Let's continue looking. We still have... We still have uh, many more babies to find. Up we go. Yeah, this is a fairly basic plat. Uh, it's a very basic collection collector platformer style game. You get to wander around. You collect these orbs or triangles in order to allow you to teleport around. Oh, hey, there you are. All right, another baby rescued. Did you hear that? All right, let's continue going around. Down we go. Oh, not that fast. All right, 60 health. All right. Kind of want to continue. Let's continue going. Now should you wait till I get my uh, missile launcher? There we go. Read this sign. This cab's for free. Oh, I need three coins. All right, continue looking. Aha! Shot you in the back. All right, so we have one coin from there. Oh, right here. All right, let's see here. I noticed some some fun things that I should say quirks about this game is they, uh, in order to prevent clipping, they have the camera have physics as well. So rather than have the camera kind of zoom back a little bit to allow you to see better, it kind of gets up close and personal like this, so it can get not the most ideal when it comes to camera. Ooh, all right. Bomb launcher. Let's go launch some bombs. Hey. 
Anybody? There. All right. Oh, I didn't even see it coming. Oh, oh I didn't see that coming. I've kind of already been here before. Let's see here. Well, there's those... Hmm... Yeah, one of the other things about this game, sadly, uh, yeah, sadly they don't have a, a, a map. Kind of need a map. At least I'm not aware there's a map. Hub. Uh, options. Oh. Uh, no map. Alright, well, let's just continue going, I guess. Oh. Uh, there we go. There, who who would have thought uh, uh such a you know, cuz if you look at the graphics and such, you would think this is a kids game. But it's quite violent. I mean, so far I've uh, shot down and exploded a bunch of plushies. Hello, bears. And, um... Yeah, some of the, uh... Tweet 11... Oh, 7-Eleven reference. Yeah, let's just say some of it's, uh... Not so, uh, child-friendly. You will buy our products. Oh, that's a bit dystopian. We're back here again. Alright. I'm a bit lost now. Because we've kind of gone at least all over where I can think of. Maybe over here? Oh, we already went through that. Oh, over here, maybe. Stop right where you are. If you shoot at us, you will be fired upon with great vengeance and furious anger. All right, so just don't shoot them. Well, actually, we probably need to shoot them, given the back, what's behind them. Hey, how's it going? Alright, kind of leading them around. Oh, hey! Bug shield, alright. Something pretty big and heavy to break through that fence. So either heavy artillery or your head ought to do the job. Okay. There we go. Come on. Oh. Come on. Shoot over here. Shoot over here. Come on. There we go. All right. Nothing over here. I guess. Ha! Ah, a bit lost now. Yeah, I remember this actually in this game too. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, need. Let's head on. Oh, let's head up. All right. Let's see. How can we head up? Oh yeah. Up on the taxis. Jump. Ah. Come on, up we get. Up. Up. Okay then. And, oh, we'll go over this way. Alright. 
So let's kind of start scooting on over. All right. Okay, let's climb up this thing. Maybe, wait. I think I was already up there, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, let's head up there. I see a, uh, I see a teleporter. But yeah, since they uh, updated the controls for this game, it's much, it moves much smoother. I think, I want to say, I think the controls were, the reason why they had the weird controls is because back then, they on, the Dreamcast only had one analog stick. Oh, you're not who I was looking for. Okay. Hiya! Alright, this is a... Jump! Alright, that works. Oh yeah, there's one thing to comment on. This game is uh, filled with stereotypes. Oh. Oh yeah. I wasted a bomb. Anyway. Now we have the one who can fly. And we're up here, so let's start flying around. Uh, this is the end. This is the start of the level. Ah, uh, I am lost. Oh, I am lost. Maybe I'll have to... Oh. A button. Oh, I didn't have to jump. Okay, I didn't have to jump. Fair enough. I'm tempted to move on to a different level. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, is one of those. Oh, all right. So I haven't collected these yet, so I think I haven't been up here yet. Oh, I missed it. Okay, let's go back and get that real quick. All right. Oh, yum, uh, yum pets. Make your head and feet big and strong. Why your feet? Oh, I hear something. Hey, here are my grenades. Oh, I got his head off. Alright, I think that's everybody. Let's rescue. Squeak. Isn't, uh, wait. Isn't Twee? No, I I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. Alright, there we go. Now time to fly around. Is there anything else that we can go? So far five babies rescued and still kind of lost. Oh, hey, maybe we can go through here now. Or not. Oh. 
That was very inconspicuous. I would not have guessed to go over down there. All right. Okay. I'm being attacked by fleas. Uh. All right. I am now a flea. I was not expecting this. Well, I did say that this was a weird game. So I do, I just continue killing fleas? I guess so. Death to all fleas. Yeah, I, uh, I actually forgot about this. I remember the museum level. I had a lot of fun playing that. I remember the Twin Towers reference. And I remember getting quite agitated because I would go through a level, realize I was using the wrong fighter and having to go through it a second time just so, with the correct one. I remember also the Lumberjack level. I don't remember playing as a flea and fighting other fleas. Uh, there, there has to be a... Oh, uh, there. All right. All right, there we go. Let's see here. Bereft son sonar man. Bereft son. Oh no no no! Oh yeah. Oh no! Don't tell me. Ah oh, yeah. I'm gonna have to do this again. All right, now we know what we have to do though. Kinda. Alright, let's try this again. We're getting ads in the stream. Oh yeah, full... Yep, a full-blown ad. I'll have to figure out how to delete it in a bit. In a minute. I'm kind of being swamped by fleas. Why is there even a fur fighter flea to begin with? There's so many questions. Uh, headbutting it. Hey, don't hit me off. Alright, I think that's... Come on, let me get it. Oh, okay, never mind. We'll forget about that. One down. Oh, maybe if we can climb up. No, can't climb up. Interesting. Oh, we're gonna die again. A very weird level. Oh, there's one. There we go. And we got some health. All right. Just what we needed. Oh, there's, th there's another one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Got the health back. 
Perfect. Now we're missing one left. I have a feeling if, well, if we start going back, we'll see it. Probably hidden under one of the other fur, uh, one of the other hairs. No, no. There, found him. Ah, there we go, we got it. All right, we did it. All right. All right. Um, I'll worry about the, uh, I'll worry about the text later, the message. But anyway, we do. So we beat that. Okay, what was the point of that? I didn't get anything new. I'm... Alright. Confusing. Very confusing. And it, uh... Alright. And it kind of reset the level. You know what? Let's go back to the hub. Maybe, uh, maybe I think the other coins will be in one of the other levels. I was saying, I think it was... Alright, here we go. So that's the entrance to that area we just went to. So let's see if we can find the entrance to the other area. Oh! Hey! You look like Droopy. Okay. You, know, you're, you look like Droopy before, uh... Oh, hey! Alright, fear my claws. Alright, quit shooting me. Alright. Now, where are we? This, yeah, this game really could benefit from a map. Hey, Mr. Penguin. I think he's Aus I think he's Australian. I know the kangaroo is Australian. All right, we made it to the museum. I remember this level a lot. I think I had a, a lot of fun in this level playing it. Oh yeah, to to give more as I mentioned this game it was it feels like it was inspired by Donkey Kong. So one of the, as I mentioned one of the main reasons why was because each baby has to be rescued by its res respective parent or sibling. For instance, Rico here can only rescue penguins. So, yeah, if I find a... You're a red panda. So if I find a red panda baby, only the red panda father can rescue. So Chang is the only one who can rescue. And that's very Donkey Kong-esque because bananas could only be collected by particular Kongs. But unlike... Yeah, unlike Donkey Kong, that's about the extent of the overlap. Oh... That's, uh... Yeah, he did, uh... That's a bit of a, a rough spot. Yeah, these can be collected by everybody, which is nice. Oh, hey. I want that. How do I get it? Most likely there's something that can break it. Oh! Yeah, I think there's something that can break it. Maybe that thing. 
Oh, there's a lot of... Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff around here. Oh. I didn't even stand the chance. Oh, I hear a baby. Over here by the sounds of it. Where are you, Mr. Baby? Okay, I hear... Maybe it's on the other side. Let's go look. Aha! I shoot you. And no. Alright. Oh! I think another thing I could say that's very much like Donkey Kong is each character has a respective special ability. And I, well, okay, I guess you could say special ability in quotations. For instance, Chang here is short. That's his entire ordeal is he's short. So his special ability is he can go under small gaps or he can go into small caverses and small gaps. Ah. Yeah, I can't rescue that baby. So if I go through here, this can't rescue. So I need to go find her, the, her father. I believe he's over here. Yeah, here he is. And here, Bungalow, he can jump. He can actually jump twice as high, given that he's a kangaroo. So yeah, Chang is short. Bungalow can jump high. Rufus can dig. So I kind of feel sorry for Rufus. He got a... He got a kind of a, a raw deal. Yeah, come on. I need these things, so let me get them. Oh. Okay, let's do it again. Oh yeah, that's one thing I'm... One thing I'm so happy for. They do not have lives. They just have checkpoints. All right, let's get back through here again. Jump over that. There we go. Melinda has been rescued. All right. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, Rufus can dig, so very contact sensitive. Actually, I can't remember. Uh, I'm kind of remembering. Oh. I see. Yeah, see, he, he's like, no, no, you can't rescue me. I want my daddy. I'm your best friend. Or, you know, your, your kids and my kids, they play together. Oh, here's Rufus. Now, Tweak can hover. So Tweak's the dragon. And he can hover, which makes him actually probably one of the more useful ones, because... You can uh, float down from high places or go across long distances. So, Tweak is very useful. Rico, the penguin, he's the one, he can swim. So yeah, his, his ability is swimming. So, also pretty, yeah, also pretty contact sensitive. If there's no water nearby, then, yeah. And then I'm trying to remember the cat lady's name. Hers, uh, her ability is to climb whenever there's scratch marks. So, yeah, come to think of it, only really two of them have really good abilities. The rest are contact sensitive. Oh, we need to knock that over. It's a giant bowling ball. Oh. Actually, this would be so much easier with uh, Bungalow. Where are you? Oh, I found Tweak. Not hanging out with Sar South Park, are you? you? Must be tired of South Park. Cartman messing with you? Maybe Stan? 
Nah, Stan and Kyle are kind of nice people. They don't, they won't mess with you. Oh, I know, it's the girls in the, uh, in the classroom. Isn't there a South Park? Yeah, it's the girls in the classroom. Didn't they put Tweak with, uh, one of the other characters? There we go. And, oh, here. All right. Ammo. Oh, and I think that's the rocket launcher. Last but not least, let's move that. There we go. All right. Exactly what we needed. Oh, this is going on for quite a while. There we go. All right. And time to flex Tweak's ability. Aha! I float on down. Oh, I wonder if I can land on this. Oh, kind of. Ooh, gift shop. We should totally go into the gift shop. But first... Try and... Oh, hey, who shot me? Oh, over there. You! Alright, let's get down before they start shooting me out. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, I know. Um, okay. I don't know. Oh yeah, they... They got rid of my rocket launcher. Let's go get that back. Uh, at least I don't have to do that again. Oh, yeah, not high, not high enough. Come on up and up. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I think if if I had to make one complaint about the controls. Like once they're switching the analog sticks, it's work. It, it controls great. I think the thing is, is that the jump is a bit. Yeah, I think it's the jump. Because when you're moving, sometimes the, especially when the item below you is moving, it's very difficult for the jump to happen. That's kind of what was happening on the train earlier. So yeah, the jump is a little off. But as long as you're on solid ground that doesn't move like this. I shoot that. Nah, okay. But yeah, once you're on a solid ground like this, I have to say the controls are actually pretty tight. Oh yeah. I need to uh, get your dad. I think your dad's over here, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Hey, Foy Foy. How's it going? This is Fur Fighters. You play as the Fur Fighters, and your goal is to rescue your family because they were kidnapped. You just missed the flea level. There's a level where you're playing as the flea fur fighter. Nope, no, nope, this is a dog. This is the dog named Rufus. And, oh, let's go get Mr. Kangaroo. And here is Bungalow. He can, he can double jump. Anyway, what we're looking for now is where the crying was coming from, from over here. Because we're looking for the children. Or rescuing the children, at least. Where is that coming from? Maybe we can shoot something? I... I mean, I hear them, but I don't see them. 
All right, let's continue looking. There has to be a way over into that area. Oh, maybe around here. Aha! No. Oh yeah, the, here's the main bad guy right here. His name is Vigo. It, pretty much the jo the joke is he's an industrial. He's a business tycoon bent on taking over the world. All right, let's head on up. We're looking for stuff. Oh yeah. Another complaint I can think of. It's more or less. Oh, yeah. For instance, like like this. This is where you need Chang. He's the only one who can fit under that. Oh hey, it's our walrus, walrus friend. Have you heard of the domino effect? Is that when you order a pizza and it always arrives when you're in the dunny? Okay. You know, I'm going to have to look up what Dunny means. I have a feeling he's talking about... Oh. Goodbye, teddy bear. Oh yeah, fur fighters. We're all, what we're playing as is a bunch of plushies. So you can see here, I just shot the polar bear and he's bleeding out all his cotton. Alright, let's continue. Oh hey. There you are. Now we're Chang. So let's go and uh, let's head on back. We can actually get under there. Yeah, this is a... Uh, see? Oh, actually no. He can't get under there. That's a bit surprising. Yeah, he's not that short. Yeah, uh, I was just about to comment. That you can kind of tell this game was made by, um... Oh, this is the PlayStation 2 version here. This game was... It, the game looks actually slightly different on the Dreamcast. We can actually load the Dreamcast version up if we want. Kind of compare the difference in the uh, graphics. Though the controls on the Dreamcast are... Um, I don't know if they modified them. I know the fans hacked the. As I said, this is the this is the PlayStation 2 version, and the fans created a patch to switch the controls. So, all right. How about? Let's see here. Oh hey, down we go. Oh, I know. I'm gonna blow some teddy bears up. Oh, stop moving. Actually, I hear I hear a baby nearby. It sounds like there we go. Bungalow. You didn't know this game had fan. I think I I would argue. Oh, I just left his head behind. Oh, poor guy. I would actually call this game kind of like one of the hidden gems when it comes to platformers. Because it's a very fun one. I know that there's, it does it's not perfect, but there are uh There's a lot of great stuff in this game. Okay, so where does crying come from? Well let's go ahead and pick up. There we go, Juliet. All right, Juliet. Where's our climbing? Oh. There it is, right there. Okay, let's climb. And oh, there's the baby right there. Oh no! I uh oh, I fell too far. Actually, you know what? Thinking about it, because of this game, 
the way this game plays. There we go. Gotta love those checkpoints. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've... I've been a big fan of the... As I said, I've always enjoyed this game when it first came out. I've... It's kind of as a as I I feel like as I said it's kind of like a hidden gem. It's one of those platformers that came out right during the time when platformers were not being they were being frowned upon. I mean that's why Jack and Dexter changed this entire uh, motif. Yeah, the difference between Jack One and Jack Two was shocking. Hey, Lady Kitty, how's it going? Look, I'm Lady Kitty now. Let's see here, let's uh need to get down now. Well I could jump. But or or I could fall off on accident. Let's head on up. Alright, bungalow, let's go on. We should head on up and start looking around for more babies. Oh. Oh. Come here. Aha! Oh, that's so fun. So, Lady Kitty, what we're playing today is Fur Fighters. It is a hidden gem released for the Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, and PC. The, uh, yeah, the, the PC version's a bit, oh, the hotel's Wi-Fi. <laughs> ah, the hotel's Wi-Fi. I had that problem, too. Oh, come on, Tweak. Let's see here, what's this? Would you like to know what my favorite things in the world are? Come a little bit closer and I'll share a secret that you'll find useful. Don't be shy now. I am going to show you a series of images. The three images represent my three favorite things in the world. I will reveal them to you a number of times. The amount of times I reveal them to you indicates how much I like, like that, that particular, particular thing. thing. All right. Just tell me in reverse order what my favorite things are. Then I will let you into a little secret that only I know. Okay. All right. He likes cats. Balls. Yarn. Cat. Ball. Cat. All right. Did you catch that? If you can tell me what my favorite things in the world are, I will let you into my useful secret. Okay. All right. So where do we? Oh, here we go. Well, this first one was obviously. Oh. It was it which order was it again? Was it reverse order? Cause it's this one, this is his least, and this is his most. Alright. I know that's most. Let's go with this one first. Idiot, you must pay attention, Nesepa. Now do you want to try again? Okay. Oh, he's going to make me watch it again. All right, let's watch it again. All right, let's see here. Like to know what my favorite things in the world are? Come a little bit closer and I'll share a secret that you'll find. Oh, no, they're Don't be shy. Oh, they're going to make me watch it again. I'm going to show you a series of images. These three images represent my three favorite things in the world. All right. Yes, yes, we get it. Oh, I can skip. All right, cat. Milk. Ball. Cat. Ball. Cat. Milk. Ball. Cat. All right, so cat, ball, milk. All right. So the milk is the least. Then next is the ball. And the last is the cat. Now you know so much about me, I will let you into my little secret. The combination to the museum main vault 
is six anticlockwise, two clockwise, four anticlockwise, six clockwise. All right. All right, so let's go. Oh yeah, this is uh, you know, this is quite a fun game. Oh, we should probably. Oh, actually, I wonder what Tweak will say to the Colonel. Oh, the Colonel didn't show up. Oh, come on, Colonel! You should have shown up. Don't want to talk. There you are. Oh come on, this problem's a pushover. Oh okay. Oh, actually, I wonder. Can I shoot any of these? Oh, there it is. Push over. Okay. I need to knock these over. Oh, there it is. All right. All right. Bonk. You know, I think we're doing more damage than the bad guys. All right, there it is. 32. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a shield. Oh. All right, I'm packing heat. Check that out. What are these, mice? Yeah, I think they're mice. I have little mice on my side. Uh-oh. It's now the boss. Boss time. Oh, they're... Yeah, they're mice. Statues continue forms of unique in time. No ordinary modernist sculpture. It's one of General Vigo's secret chameleon bots. Your only chance is to aim for its only weak point. It's I. Thank you, Mr. Man. Where's this where's this weak point? Oh, did you? Alright, got it. Got its eye first. Alright, we shot its eye again. All right, so far, so this is actually pretty easy. I, I think I got in, myself in a good position. All right. Oh, water. Actually, where's Rico when you need him? If we had Rico, we could go swimming. Ah, so this is where the 30... All right. All right, all right, come on. Oh, that's another Rufus. All right, let's go get Rufus. Yeah, this is, as I said, one problem with this game. There we go. Aha. All right, and we rescued. Actually, I want to see something real quick. All right, I think we should probably uh, start heading on up. There it is. All right, let's start heading back up. In the meantime, I need to check something out. Let's see here. Ah, I don't have, all right. All right, I was, I did a quick check. 
I don't have fur fighters on the on the computer. I was thinking of hopping over to the Dreamcast version and doing a comparison. Maybe uh, next time. For now, we need to continue moving up. I think out of the two games, I would definitely out of the games, I definitely recommend the PlayStation 2 version because they gave it this nice cell shaded look. Yeah, the uh, original Dreamcast version didn't have this cell shaded look. I don't know if it was because they couldn't do it or if they decided when they were released the PlayStation 2 version, they would update the graphics a little bit. But yeah, the uh, the Dreamcast version looks more like the Sonic Adventure games released on the Dreamcast. And the play and the PC version, sadly, uh, I couldn't get the PC version to work. I think it's something wrong with the drivers. Oh, fear my rockets! All right, yeah, fear my rockets. Uh, try and snipe me from a distance, so I'm gonna snipe you. Oh. No biting. All right. Oh, you have rockets. All right, that worked quite well. Oh, there's another one. So many of these guys. Oh yeah, another thing that I'd rec Another reason why I would recommend the PlayStation 2 version. It's the hack that I, I mentioned earlier. Oh. Yeah, that belongs in a modern art P a modern art. Oh yeah, another problem. This should technically be a checkpoint. But since I'm already playing as Tweak, not really a checkpoint. Oh well, let's continue moving. Uh, I think, uh, let's see here, where are we? Oh. What was that for? What was what? Oh, uh, whoops, I shot somebody. All right. Hey, what are you? To get that key, you will have to do something about that negative attitude. Twi oh yeah, I forgot. He, I almost forgot. He can't. Uh, he can't say. Oh, uh, he doesn't say much. No visitors allowed in the diamond room outside opening hours. I may be old, but I'm still sharp. You're not getting this key off me. All right. I'm so old and useless. Ah, uh, you gotta feel bad for him. All right. Okay, so now we need to get that down. Yeah, I don't think shooting it kind of... Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, there's a baby nearby. The question is, is where? All right, we need to look for... Something. It could be something to climb up. It could be something to shoot. I'm not seeing anything. Ah, uh, hmm. I do love their, uh... Oh, wait. Are these, uh... No, they're all the same height, so that's not it. And it doesn't look like any of them are explosive, either. Nothing can shoot. 
Ah, all right. Um, a bit at a loss here. Oh, maybe the general might tell us something. Come on, general. Accentuate the positive, my friend. Accentuate the po- well, how? Um, hmm. Oh, maybe I can shoot? No. Missile! Nope, that didn't do it. I'm extremely confused now. Um, I think I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm not seeing any cues anywhere nearby. I do see an exit. A fire exit. Oh. Alright, anything down here maybe? Oh, I got food. Alright, so I don't have to worry about my health health problem. Oh. Alright. I kind of... I kind of wish I knew about that earlier. Let's continue heading down. Alright, nothing over there. And over here. Come on. Down we go. Oh. I would rather deal with you guys. Fear my machine gun. Oh. You sh Doesn't he look like Droopy? I mentioned it earlier, but he looks definitely like Droopy. Alright, Rufus, let's go. Oh, here's the key. Oh, here's the, uh. Ah, here's the thing. Uh. The safe. Alright, well, let's do that. Alright, so if I remember, it was six counterclockwise, then two clockwise, then four, then six again. Uh, okay, let's try that again. Six, two, four, Six. Ah, okay. Counterclockwise to six. Then over to two. Then back to four. Then to six. Why aren't you working? Alright. Six. Two. Four. So there we go. Okay. Now we're in. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, lots of firepower too. The fur is gonna fly. Or the fluff is gonna fly. There we go. Okay. Oh, that one. And... There we go. There. Alright, there. Man, 
I kind of feel sorry for all of these guys who are going through. And it's a good thing we're not playing Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Because there's a... Yeah, in Metal Gear Solid 3, there was a scene. Or I should say a mission. Where you have to fight all of the... Oh! Hey! I wonder what that... what this did. Oh, please don't... Oh, yeah. We, we, we left. Alright, we'll have to go back in, but anyway. Alright. Hey, there's Rico. That's who we're looking for. Now, uh, let's head back in and see what we can do. It's actually a surprise that was the, that was the exit. I hope the I hope the level didn't reset itself. We'll soon find out. And no, it didn't. Oh, that's very good. All right, the only thing that reset it looks like is the enemies, which is very nice. First, yeah, I mean. For a second, I was th uh, I I had flashbacks to Banjo Kazooie. In Banjo Kazooie, uh, the level tends to reset, so you have to recollect all of the. You know, there's. All right, so in Banjo Kazooie, they have collectibles. Oh, these are meerkats. Okay. All right, but yeah, in Banjo Kazooie, you have collectibles. They are uh, notes, and they pretty much they are these things. But in Mantra Kazooie and in Mario, every time you restart, you have to collect them again. In Mantra Kazooie, you have to go all the way back up to 100. And in Mario, at least, well, in Mario, I think you actually it's kind of similar. So it's actually kind of nice that they didn't reset the level. Anyway, let's go down. Anything down here? Ah. Ah, sorry, Rico. You're not needed. Let's get let's go back up and get out. Maybe next time. Alright, let's see here. Where are Well, we already went through there. Let's see here, and I'm just hitting all the buttons right now. Hoping to find something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they have widescreen mode. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, the, back then in... Uh, yeah, the games... Some games would come with widescreen mode. I forgot. We'll have to... Uh, I'll have to set it up next time. Game info. Ah, oh, here we go. Game info. Ah. Uh. Alright, so so far we've done these two levels, and we've done how much time we've played, how many we collected. And then, uh, oh, that was the first village. Yeah, I, uh, I'm still missing one token. Anyway. Two hours I've been playing. Okay. Alright. Well, let's continue. Aha! I think uh, what we should try and do is, yeah, since it's 5.05 on my end, 
What we should try and do is rescue one more baby, and then we'll call it a day. We can play some more later. What I can do is I can uh, try and set up the Dreamcast version. Oh, there we go. We can get that piece. All right. I think maybe this way. Let's try this way. Gonna have some good mental memory. Cat art. Cat art. A retrospective. This looks like a modern. This is definitely a lot of modern art. Yeah, I could see that totally in an art in art exhibit. Hey Chang, how's it going? Oh. Oh, we should. Hey, in here. Oh, don't bite me. All right, I think we found our the last baby we'll save for today. Oh. Oh yeah, I missed. Oh, he's a strong boy. Oh, he's very strong. Okay, got him. Uh, time to get up here and rescue. Oh, hey. Yeah, that 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 is a. Uh... This is actually kind of fun right here. They actually added water physics. I mean, it's not fantastic water physics, but... It's kind of fun to see that they did this. Alright, let's go ahead and move this around. And I gave some basic physics too. I actually remember uh, in Ratchet and Clank they had a, a secret test mode you could get to. Oh, a moment. Yeah, I remember in Ratchet and Clank they had a secret test mode you could get to. You had to play the game at midnight or I think one o'clock to access it. The whole joke was you had to be an insomniac to get to the test mode. All right. But when you get in there, they show off a lot of different things, like they had water physics calculated for the PlayStation 2. But because the water physics were too intense, it would crash the game, so they had to go with something much simpler. But they could still show off a small snippet in the test area. If I remember, the physics kind of looked... It wasn't exactly this, but it was kind of close. Actually, I wonder. Oh, let's check this out real quick. Is it actually water physics or is it a texture thing? Uh, maybe a little bit lower? I'm trying to get it just flesh with the texture. Oh yeah, this is a texture thing. Oh yeah, that's quite fun. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's quite fun. So yeah, the, what they're doing is is they are uh, they're tricking our eyes. What they're it's modifying the texture. So at least that's what it looks like to me. What's going on is all right. Let's hop off real quick. So this texture here is waiting for an impact point, and once you hit it like that, it then sends out a ripple effect. Now because our eyes are the way they are, whenever we see shades like this, we automatically start thinking of concaving and convexing shapes. This is like the the prominent way that an eye would mistake uh, those magic eyes or those uh, the you know the 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 pictures uh, that like to trick the eyes, like the moving rice or the the spinning fan and such. And that's because of the contrast with the light and darks. And that's what they're doing here. So they make it look like it's actually a uh, 
They're making it look like water being moved around, but it's actually just a texture. It's quite fun. It's definitely a way to cut down on resources usage. Alright. I, I think that should be uh, it for... Oh, who's shooting me? Oh yeah. Ah, they shot me. I've been, Oh, actually... Wait, wait, we should go back real quick. Um, I just saw something silly. Alright, kill me, come on. You've been- you fluffed it. Oh boy, uh... This is, uh, all kinds of innuendo right here. How many people here are, uh, above the age of 18 or below the age of 18? Actually, trying to keep- Trying to keep this channel PG, maybe I shouldn't talk. Maybe I shouldn't explain this joke. But to the adults out there, this there is a joke in this. It is quite funny if you get it. All right. All right. Let's hurry up and go over this way, and then we'll calling it a night. Just kind of see what's over here. I fluff you. Oh, I kind of wish, uh, I kind of wish, uh, because, uh, oh, all right, so this is what's over here. All right. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, uh, I'm actually, currently, uh, I'm actually aware that I have at least two individuals from, uh, before university. So, uh, high school and middle school. I would love to ask them to see if they get the joke. I'm not going to explain it, of course, but I just want to know if they get the joke. Alright, gotcha. And... I think this is it. All right. I remember playing this level for hours because uh, trying to find everything. But for now, I think we'll call it a we'll call it a day. Ah, it's five thirteen. So yeah, it's five thirteen on my end. So yeah, I'm gonna call it a day. But yeah, this has been Fur Fighters Vigo's Vengeance on the PlayStation Two. Oh, actually, I should do one thing real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and pause this. Yeah, I should probably let me do this real quick so that I can show it off. All right, let's see here. Where are you? So let's hop out of there. All right. And we need to load up. Once I, I'm looking, there it is. It's this one. There we go. So this is romhacking.net. Romhacking.net is a repository. It's not a complete repository. There's a lot of stuff missing. Uh, but for the most part, this is a repository of ROM hacks and changes. It contains a lot of different changes and a lot of different updates. Oh, hey, Lady Kitty. Uh, we're just finishing up and I'm explaining... Uh, oh. I have a question for you. Oh, I, okay. More along the lines of, I have a thing to show you. So I'll show you in a second. I want to get your opinion on it, but let me show this off first. But yeah, romhacking.net, it pretty much has updates and hacks and such. So 
there's a lot of different ones like here you can see there are translations so if a game was you know if you wanted to play a specific game but you are a specific game but is not in the language you want they might have it like for instance super mario brothers in spanish or teenage mutant ninja turtles in indonesian it's quite fun but in here specifically we'll go to rom hacks and then we go to game we can go down to the f's oh we're in the h's g there it is f fur fighters vigo revenge for the playstation 2 tweaked controls here it is i would recommend getting this patch to play the game oh uh sorry the wi-fi is bad it's just a still you need to see so i'll show you but yeah so this is the patch that i was using to play the game what it does is it so you have to use it with advanced controls but if you're if you just load the game straight up, it puts you straight in there, so no worries. But what it does is that it switches around the controls. Yeah, it makes a few of the it makes a few of the mini games a little confusing. But uh it's quickly fixable. But the main point is is what it does is it swaps them around so that Yeah. Let's see here, where are you? Uh, all right, so uh, here it is right here. It reverses the default stick assignments. So in the practice, the left stick is used to move around and the right stick is used to aim using the advanced mode assignments. So what this does, it, this tweak controls, what it does is it gives you modern controls for the game. It makes it an infinitely much more easier to play. Because no longer do you have to use the analog stick that people usually use for movement for looking. Instead, it's the they reversed it. So I would highly recommend this, and it's very easy to do. You just download the patch, and then let's see here. It should be a an, it. Pretty much, you download the patch and apply it, and then from there you're good to go. I think uh, I honestly think it's an improvement, and thanks to uh, Cobalto or Cobeto, this guy. Thanks to him for making the patch. So I know I was working on it, but he kind of beat me to it. I had already decompressed the game, Fur Fighters game, and I was busy digging through trying to figure out the uh, where the code was, and uh, apparently he beat me to it. He ended up using a. Uh, an already existing tool to do it, which is kind of nice. I didn't know these tools existed, so I was trying to go through a hex editor. But I digress, I digress. Use this patch, it helps out a lot. And as for Lady Kitty, I want to show you this real quick. I have a question. Oh, and here we go. Let's quickly what we just need to do is die. Alright. You see the... Do you see the uh, tag here? You fluffed it. Do you get the innuendo? Do you get the joke? Oh, I have a feeling she's disappeared again. Oh, anyway, anyway. We'll leave it here. Thanks, Mr. F Smith, for hanging around and enjoying this very this hidden gem. This is quite fun. I hope, hopefully, I can get back to it later and uh, continue and eventually beat it. But for now, this is Stash Panda, si Stash Panda signing off. I have stuff to get done. Until then, laters. Everyone have a good one.
Oh yeah. And tomorrow we'll pick it. We'll have a different game to play. I haven't figured out yet which one it will be, but we'll try and find another equally interesting game. Oh, maybe something on the Nintendo 64. Oh, may, I know. May, they have there's some translated games. Maybe one of those. We'll we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, see everyone later. Oh, I need to fix that.